Hey guys, in today's album walkthrough, I am going to focus on this Hawthorne photo journal. It's part of the Hawthorne Heidi Swap collection. And this is a hardcover mini album that comes spiral bound in the middle, which helps it to lay flat and it enables you to be able to embellish the inside pages very well. Um, and so we're going to walk through this a little bit. Up on the HeidiSwap.com blog, there is a post that features this photo album and a couple of still pictures are included, of course, in that post. And today we are going to do the actual walkthrough so you can see all of the photos. Okay, so on the cover, I started with this double-sided sticky foam word. Uh, there, these come in package of several, about 15 words per package. Mine is flashback and it's got a foam adhesive uh, uh, dimension about it. But what's great about it is the top is sticky also. So you peel off the top layer of uh, sticker back paper and you mink it with the mink reactive foil. Any color you want, I use champagne. The next thing I added to my cover is this jumbles word. Also, you can mink it as well, any color you desire. And then I added a couple of pieces of, of ephemera. That's from the Hawthorne collection. On the corner, I don't know how well this is going to show up. I think you can see it pretty well. I used the Heidi Swap glue pin and just added some adhesive swipes to my corner. And then also, same thing, used a piece of mink reactive foil and added that touch of foil right there. All right, so when you open up the book, it opens right to this first page. I added in by punching holes with the We Are Memory Keepers uh, planner punch. I punched holes in here so that I could add it into the spiral binding. And just a piece of vellum that I then um, added a couple pieces of washi tape to. My cover page includes the large alphabet that can also be foiled with the mink machine. And again, this 18 is the same as the flashback sticker on the front page. It's double sticky foam. You can take off the top sticker part and layer on the mink foil and it gives beautiful results just pretty much every time. Um, pretty much throughout this book, um, I'm a big repetitive type of embellisher. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of washi tape. I've used these jumble words over and over again. They are great for uh, journal prompts and that's exactly basically how I put them to use um, very often more than once on a page. This side of the, so this side here as you notice it's a pocket it's a photo pocket so uh, these fit nicely four by six you'll see some other shapes later that can fit like four by four photos in them really well and so I just sent my photos off and printed them all four by six if I needed to crop them down, I did. Um, this side of each of the page is a journal page. It's a, a dot line journal. And uh, very often, again, I will have embellished this page, more washi, stamps, and obviously, and most important, and above all, the journaling. I took time to write about, this was a trip I took with my daughter to Washington, D.C. with her eighth grade class. And so I've had just an awesome time going back through all these photos and um, embellishing this book as well as telling the story that I'm finding here on each of these pages. So I'm just gonna sort of gloss over a couple of the ways I embellish these pages. I'll try to go through all of them for you. Uh, very often, again, you're gonna notice I've done swipes with the Heidi Swap glue pen and then layered on foil, sometimes champagne, sometimes pink, not on all the pages, but some of them. I have layered clear stickers and washi tape and notch pattern paper. This is also a jumbles um, sticker. And stamps, washi tape, more journaling. Again, with the jumbo, with the jumble stickers, um, word jumbles, I think is what they're actually called. I keep calling them jumble stickers, but they're word jumbles. Um, again, using that, it's a great jumping off place for any type of journaling. I use these large alphabets a couple times throughout the book. I just like the big impact that they have and mix them. Again, I mix them with the word jumbles, with the stamp and with some notched pattern paper. This frame here is part of the ephemera kit 
And so I just framed that up and layered again, washi tape, word jumbles, some clear ephemera, that's a arrow there, and stamps. There's two sets of stamps that come with the Hawthorne collection. I'm going to show them to you here because they are just super um, innovative and have lots of sentiments. This one here that I'm pulling out has lots of dates uh, on it as well. And be careful and don't lose your little numbers like I have. On the back of each of these packages, you've got some examples here of how to layer these stamps together and uh, make them work into each other. And I've done a lot of that here on these pages. So just make sure you take note of that as we go through. This page here has this clear acrylic piece, this view. It When you get these, you're gonna feel there's some texture to them. You can run these through your machine and foil them as well. This is a really fun piece that's part of the um, collection at, available at Joanne. You can find these patches, and this one is calling All Adventure Seekers, and I found it a great opportunity to capture a bunch of her friends on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, and they were definitely they were definitely adventure seekers and looking to find all that they could find while we were visiting DC. What I did here is I had this large photo I wanted to go ahead and add to this page. So I it, obviously it's covering up the journal um, side of the photo journal. And but I've left a pocket here between the photo and the journal page and I added in a tag which I will be adding my journaling too, but it's just a fun interactive piece was super simple to make and text in there and adds also a lot of texture to the um, to the edges of these pages by having these parts stick out. I use a typewriter to add some of my journaling that's combined with my handwritten journaling and then um, more stamps, more ephemera, washi tape, pretty much on every page. Some pages I was trying to keep a little cleaner than others. Just they, the photo itself had such impact. And so this one to me is a little cleaner and a little more white space just to allow for this moment here of my daughter standing in front of the Lincoln Memorial. And so just continuing on with ephemera and notched paper, more word jumbles, stamps, um, folded over tabs. I interjected here the word jumble in the midst of my um, journaling and I mixed in stamps with ephemera quite a bit when I could. And so that is basically what you're going to find inside this particular photo journal. And I find these albums, um, they come together pretty quick especially when you have all your photos already printed and you're just popping them right inside of the um, photo place, the photo opening. Okay, these this, these pages are winding down here a, little, here a little bit, but another thing I wanted to show you was um, these photos happened on the same day, and this was a huge, large group photo of the students that um, went to D.C. with us, and pretty large, and just wasn't going to be able to do it justice by fitting it inside of one of the photo frames. So I just kept it the size it was, and I just tucked it right into um, this page here, and you're supposed to be able to open this up, and I still have room for my journaling, and so don't feel like because you have these photo cutouts here that you have to fit everything into there. I um, kind of repeated a page here, another photo of my daughter and I, and then um, a big impact with these large alphas yet again that I just think have great uh, feel and um, style on a page. Mirrored this particular side of the page is was a circular opening for the photo and I mirrored that by cutting a, another photo in a circle. And I just like the way those two play off each other, just gives us some interest and kind of, kind of breaks up the page a little bit as well. Again, if I had another set of the ephemera, so I used a frame again and layered it with uh, washi tape and word jumbles. And then over here, um, I was attempting to add several photos into this um, side of the page. But what you can see here is again, you can either punch these holes by hand, which I don't know if I'd enjoy doing that exactly. Or again, the way our memory keepers plan or punch, um, there is a set of holes that lines up perfectly with this book. And so it was fun to add a, another page in here and a photo in here um, that, worked with the story that was being told right here. 
our stories are worth remembering. And that's exactly how I feel after finishing this mini album um, brought to you by this photo journal, Heidi Swap Hawthorne Collection. And if you have any questions or if you need any more details, just check out below. And I'd love for you to um, give me a thumbs up on this video. And also let me know what you'd love to see more of on this channel. Okay, see you next time.